Hey everyone, it's Copper Cosplay back with another episode of Cosplay 101. Today we are covering three points. How to choose a character to cosplay, budgeting for that cosplay, and planning that cosplay. So we're going to start with how to choose a character. Well, there's plenty of ways to do this. Maybe you like the way the character looks. Maybe you like, I don't know. Maybe you like the hair color of the character. There's like so many things that the character can have that you like. You can relate to them. And that's why you choose them. But it goes a little deeper than that. If you're just starting out on cosplay or you just don't have that much money to spend, you have to think about how complicated that character is. Which brings me to point number two. Budgeting for the cosplay and this will normally eliminate some characters that you want to do, but you don't have the money or the skill set to do it. So how I budget is kind of weird. I use an app called Cause Planner to plan them out. And like I have every single piece. If I'm buying the costume, I will still have like the costume, the wig and the accessories. All on, like I will have them all on the cosplay app and how I decide if I'm still going to do that character in a month in two months you have to look at how much money you can actually spend on that character on that cosplay for instance some people don't have money to buy a $60 wig for a character while some people don't even have money to buy a $12 at that moment in time. So what you have to think about is how is this going to cost? Like how much is this going to cost and how am I going to get this done? And that's the planning aspect. Basically, like I just talked over how I plan for a cosplay and that's also how I budget for the cosplay. I write down what I need and the cost of that. Now, a, thing, a trick I like to do to make sure that if there's any unexpected costs, like I have to replace something, or I think a wig, like I buy a cheap wig and then I realize, oh, I can't use this wig, I have to buy a better wig. Or like, just small things. I normally take that budget and I don't, I add maybe 30 to $40. Sometimes I double it. It really depends on how complex the costume is. If I'm buying pieces, of the costume like separately then I normally will allow enough room to get multiples of certain aspects just in case like I mess up on something if I'm going to like like alter something like or anything like that then I add in the wig cost I normally add like I normally go to the most expensive like the place I want to get the wig which is normally Arda for me and I choose the wig that I want to get obviously um, and then I add the shipping cost, the wig styling, like anything I need to style that wig. And then that's how I get the total cost of how much that wig is going to cost. Same with the costume. I go to where I'm going to buy it. I find where I'm going to buy it, normally eBay. <laughs> um, I find out what accessories I want, which I normally buy my accessories from Amazon. And then I just combine those costs into like, and then I add onto it. I add the price of shipping. I add tax. I add like just an estimate of it. I add, and then I add like on top of all of that, I add just maybe 10, 20, 30 dollars sometimes. It can go higher than that if it's a cheaper costume. Sometimes I'll just double it. Like if it's a 20 dollar thing that I'm going to get, I'll budget for 40 or 50. That way, just in case that one piece don't work, doesn't work out, I have enough to buy another piece similar, similar style, similar price, something like that. And it just works. And what does this have to do with choosing your character? Well, a lot, actually. If you don't have the money or the skills or anything like that, you shouldn't choose that particular character. 
sure, you can put them on your long list of cause plans like I normally do. You can put them on your cause plans, but think realistically of where you will be to get that character. And then choose a character, another character that you want to do. And out of those two, you just see like what you want to do, which is the most logical one you want to do, like, which is the most logical to do at that time. And if you don't have money for any costume, don't worry about it. You can wait. You can save up. And it is good to save up for a cosplay. And if, you, if it's a costume that has bits and pieces that are like cheaper, and you want to feel like you're still working on it, buy little bits and pieces for it. Buy thread. Buy needles. Buy like accessories. Buy just shirts, like undershirts, buy, and prepare for this. And that way, when you actually are ready to do that cosplay, you have everything you need for it. You have the money, you're financially sound for it. And that's pretty much the, it. That's the best advice I can give you for budgeting if I didn't just show you my budgeting, which I might eventually. It's just kind of chaotic right now. So, but that's just kind of how I, but like that's how, like some advice for budgeting. And then another way to do this is to give yourself a set, like, costume price that you want to do, but overestimate it. Like I said, overestimating is key. Because when you overestimate, you can use the money that you don't spend on your next cosplay or just for something for yourself if you're, like, you have a really, really tight budget. Maybe you just have allowance or something. Um, I personally don't have to worry about bills or anything like that. So I don't have to wor worry about not being able to pay them. But I still set some money back just in case I need to, I actually need to help with the bills. So I normally have 100 to $150 to spend a month. And like that's in general. That's just in general that I have to spend. Sometimes it's more than that, sometimes it's less. I normally put back a decent amount of money each month. But that's like for clothes, shoes, anything that I want is that money. And so what I do is I decide how much can I spend on cosplay out of this. And if I don't want to buy a costume that month, then I just, like if I don't want to work on a costume, if I don't want to get a wig, if I don't want to do anything like that, then I won't. But normally I will buy at least something. Maybe it's just a pair of like dollar glasses for a Grail cosplay that I've done. And then maybe it's a $65, like, cutlass. Like, there's so many, so much to do in every single costume that you, even, like, even, like, the more expensive costumes, you can slowly, like, work away at it. And it's not, like, as daunting. But you just have to think ahead, pretty much. And that's the best advice I can possibly give you. So... This is Copper Cosplay, and I will see you next video. Bye!